Now then. Uh, favorite Welsh ruler? Oh, this is really hard. There's been an awful lot, as you can imagine, for a country that's several thousand years old. Uh, I could be extremely unoriginal and say Llewellyn and Llewellyn, but that is unoriginal. I wouldn't say that he was my favorite. Perhaps his father, actually, maybe. I don't know. Glyndur as well. Oh, and Glyndur. Very, very popular choice for Welsh rulers, Welsh heroes. But uh, I, there are too many for me to pick from, I'm afraid. Probably Bendy Gaedran, if I was allowed to pick from all of Welsh history, including the legends. Bendy Gaedran, yes, pretty much. How can, how can you compete with a god? Okay, now, to Rimworld. To get this out of the way, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> to put it, put it bluntly, I uh, received a message from the developer not too long ago. Um, asking if I would like a copy of the game to, to test it out and see whether I liked it. Of course, I've seen other people play it a little bit, and I jumped at the opportunity, obviously. But uh, that isn't to say that I really know what I'm doing. I'm fairly certain that the last time I saw someone play RimWorld was quite some time ago. So, uh, many things have changed. For this, though, uh, let's have a, have a look. Uh, tough Cleopatra Classic. Hmm... And then we've got Cassandra Classic and Chill Cali Classic. We've also got Phoebe Friendly, who I won't be taking, and Randy Random, who I won't be taking because, well, they're just too random. Okay, now then. Out of the Cassandras, well, the, the Cassandra and her cousins slash sisters. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna rule out tough Cleopatra because I've got a strong suspicion that would just end in hilarity. Well. Hilarity flavoured with failure. So, of Cassandra or Callie, which should we go with? And hello to everyone who has just joined. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, Kiki Cool, that's not a problem. I thank you for dropping by. Regardless how short your stay, it was a pleasure. Or shall be a pleasure, I suppose. And hello, Firefly. Randy's an asshole. Yeah, well, he looks interesting, but yeah, he kind of does have that jerk quality about him, I suppose. You know, the, the massive smiley tattooed on the side of his head, perhaps. There are a huge amount of mods, actually, and I've got quite a lot of them downloaded, but I haven't played with them enough, and I haven't played with the base game enough to really know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm going to uh, leave the mods off for now. And, funny man, I haven't yet poked around with Space Engineers. I've been remarkably short on time, actually, but that is a game that I really want to get to soon. Uh, let's have a quick look, see if there's any sort of consensus on uh, which one we should go for. Cassandra Ca Classic, Cali. Uh, two for Cali. Okay, it looks like most people want Chill Cali Classic. I guess we're going to be going with that. I don't know if we're going to be having any Factorio. I'm going to be playing Rimworld for now, and maybe if it if it beats me too thoroughly, I'll switch to Factorio. But I hope that doesn't happen, for obvious reasons, really. Now then, and I I've no idea why there's a metal ball flo falling from his sleeve. It's kind of odd. Maybe maybe it's futuristic fashion. Good morning, milkshake, milkshake bro, rather. Now, we've got uh, a few people, and I've really no idea about all this. We've got uh, Jen, who is an artist. 69? No, no, no. We need, we need younger people on this. It's going to be grueling work, I assume. We've got Otto, a male human colonist, 23. Urban... Uh, yeah, Urb, Urb World Urchin, okay. The herb worlds, ancient and deep industrial cityscapes, bristling with humanity and poison. Oh, kind of like Necromunda. Bolsha grew up in the dark and wanted reach it. Bolsha? Oh, this is Bolsha. Okay, <laughs> I see. Otto Bolsha something or other. In the dark and wanted reaches of such a place. He had to fight for every scrap of food. So, plus two on shooting, plus four on melee. That's pretty cool. Adulthood, bartender. Melee, social cooking. Is that... I, is there nothing he's incapable of? Traits. Gullible. 
just fun story bits for now. Most of them don't do anything. This will change. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. We don't have to worry about these, I guess. Alright. I notified everyone through the Steam group and through Twitter. I, I can't send out individual things because I turn off all of my messaging systems when I start the stream. I didn't quote Necromunda, I read the Herb World thing. If that is quoting Necromunda, I guess. But I believe I can rename these. So, who is, uh, who's Otto going to become? Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's see. And as for what kind of game this is, it's sort of a city builder slash futuristic survival game, I guess, kind of. You, you, you crash land on an alien world and you have to build a colony, basically. Uh, let's see. Ken Ken. All right, Ken Ken. Actually, we'll have... Oh, you've got three names. Hmm. Last name. Short identifier. Well, you'll be Ken Ken. Ken Ken. That'll be your short identifier. And you can have the same name, surname as you had before. Okay. Oh no! Darkness bound. You fool. Giving up Dark Souls. Right. Who have we got here? You're incapable of intellectual or crafting and you're 36. No, no, no. I don't want anyone who's incapable of things. That just sounds stupid. Incapable of scary. Well, okay. I guess I could go with that. And you're also nocturnal. I like you already. But you're 68. Damn it, that's too old. You're incapable of caring. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's let's keep going. Well, this is a background soldier, and someone just asked for one. Uh, as a hero, I guess. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll make you the background soldier. There you go. There we are, as a hero. You are now a background soldier. Let's have a look at you. Wasn't made as a person, but as an instrument of destruction. Grown in a bioweapons facility and taught combat during his accelerated growth, Asahiro still has a productivity, uh, sorry, a proclivity for combat of all kinds, and an aversion to human contact. Plus four to shooting, melee, minus four to social, warden disabled, and doctoring disabled. Adulthood, starship janitor. Wow, you were built for war, and you spent your life cleaning spaceships. That's... that's rather sad, really. Take care, Death Cobra. I'm not sure I'm fit to tell you how dapper I am, Chicken Curry. I'm not even sure there are there are numbers big enough to measure such a thing. But uh, I think it is for other people to decide that sort of thing. But as a Haru there, the janitor. Paddy, the entrepreneur. Oh, he's dyslexic. I already empathize with you. Medieval lordling. My goodness. Hello everyone who's uh, just arrived. Welcome. Let's take a sip of tea. You want to be sad, boy, yeah? Why do you want to be sad? Right, medieval lordling. Paddy was a minor noble in an old kingdom on a medieval world. He grew up in a manor made of stone, served by bowing lo lower classmen. Such a life teaches no technical skills and instills a lifelong aversion to manual labour. But Paddy learned early the ways of social manipulation. Minus one to construction, growing and mining, but plus four to f social. And then a herb world entrepreneur. In the herb world most suffer, but someone has to run the corporations. Paddy learned the skill of the trade, greasing palms and technical analysis. He is a socio-intellectual machine. Plus three research and plus six social. Wow. You've got 13 social, my lord. That's actually pretty cool. I, I'm guessing this is, from what I've seen, the, the passion and that's how fast they'll learn. And then uh, everyone else, like anything without a flame next to it goes up slowly, but everything else goes much faster. Wow. Oh yeah, that's, wow. Well, let's see. Let's let's go for Cha. It's not going to be zero five, so it's just going to be Cha. I, you know, you know the rules. Come to one of my streams with numbers in your name and ask to have a 
have a name and the numbers will be stripped out. Except for that one time when I put top flames in with the zero instead of the O. We won't talk about that. I don't like being proved wrong. Right, okay. Advanced options. Is there anything there? Warning, the game isn't very optimized yet, so performance will degrade at a larger map size. The game plays well at 200 by 200, so please stick to that unless your machine is a beast and you're willing to encounter performance problems. Uh, my machine isn't too bad, but uh, well, we'll go with the recommended settings for now. Okay, you can see your page again quickly, Asahiro. There you are. You are fairly good at shooting in melee. You're crap at social and medicine. Alas, not too bad at crafting though, and you're okay with construction. Ken Ken, you're fantastic at melee, truly amazing, and then you, you can do everything else, more or less. And Cha is just, wow, he has the silver tongue, as they say. Possibly other silver bits as well, but uh, is very good at research as well. But then uh, he can do a little bit of everything else, so there we are. Hopefully that is enough there. I'll just leave it on the page just for a few more moments. And then we are going to uh, embark. Indeed. That, uh, that noble I was expecting when I was reading the noble's information there that uh, there'd be a bunch of incapables, but then there are none. So I consider myself blessed. Right, let's get this world started. Going to take a while, I suppose. Did the last time as well. No, I'm not going to go for a, a bigger map. No, not for the first time. That I stream it, anyway. The three of you awaken in your long sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and dripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Ah, yikes. Is there music? I thought I turned that off. Should be off. Okay, let's continue. Right, I'm going to pause it whilst we have a quick look at the map. Ye gads. Okay, well, we've got an enormous wall of stuff we can mine into up there. Let's have a look around. There are quite a few mods, but I haven't turned any of them on for this game. Perhaps if I die early on, I'll uh, flip a bunch of the mods on and we'll try it with that. But for now, I just want to... Uh, Try and learn the game as I go. Hmm. That, well, I'm not really sure where would be a, a good way to kind of... Can we bottleneck in this game? If so, I might want to build a wall, and this is fairly open. I'm well, thank you. How are you, Masochist Saro? We've got an enormous area up there that we can mine into, at the very least. Um, it's not really like Factorio Chicken Curry. Factorio is more about optimization, whereas this is this is probably more like Dwarf Fortress than it is like Factorio. Uh, well, there's Muffalo over there. If we set up the entrance over there. I could wall this off, but then if they attack from that side, then we're, we're kind of doomed. However, I could just have one long wall, I guess, going straight across there. And then have this area for us to, to grow food and prepare things. Uh, yeah, I might do that. But let's quickly have a look at who's set to do what. Got a skill of four, you've got a skill of three, skill of three. Uh, doctoring, skill of three. Uh, you know what, Ken Ken, you can also doctor. And initially, yeah, you two can be hunters. You are crap and you're very good at it. But uh, Ken Ken, you're also going to be working on construction and repair, actually. You're going to get better at these, damn it. And Ken Ken, you can also help with growing. How are the rest of you in mining? Wow, why are you mining when you're absolutely crap at it, Cha? You're the worst one here. I'm not sure how this is setting all of this up. Uh, relevant skills. Artistic. Um, got three, three, three. I, I'm not sure how this is setting this all up, but uh, I'm actually going to just turn all of these on. I guess I'll leave those off because it does kind of make sense, but uh, well, I'll turn that one on as well. Uh, 
Right. Cannibalism? We can eat people in this game. My goodness, this is fantastic. And now, hello, Robis. Fantastic news. We can eat people. We're not going to starve. We just need to keep taking prisoners. Now, who, which of you are good with guns? Shooting three. Shooting seven. Melee nine. Okay. You're going to get the Lee Enfield then, and the other two are going to pick up the pistols. Do let me know if the uh, music is a little bit too loud. I can uh, easily adjust that. Oh, we can't eat people? Those swines. You got all of my hopes up there, and then you've, you've just shattered them. How diabolical. Manual priorities. Ah. I see. That makes sense. Okay, so I can prioritize who does these. Um... Okay, well, out of the two of you, you're the much better at uh, being a warden. I'll keep that up. Uh, firefighting should be a fairly high priority for everyone. Doctoring, maybe not. Uh, well, what I would like... It, this will be a... Oh, it's for the lowest? Oh, okay. I would like hauling to be a little bit higher priority than cleaning, then. Uh, plant cutting... Well, you're all as good at it, so I'm going to have you on two and you two at four. Who's the best miner? Can Can, you're going to be the best miner, and you're going to be the second best miner. Growing. I'm just going to leave those as is, honestly. Oh, actually, no, you can uh, have those a little bit higher. Now, as for cooking, it's definitely a Can Can job. Yeah, okay. I kind of like that. So, uh, Char, you're pretty much just going to prioritize fighting fires, talking with prisoners, and hauling stuff. And everything else is going to be an equal priority for you. Ken Ken, actually, I'm going to increase that to one for everyone. You're going to do firefighting first, then you're going to cook. Actually, we'll put that onto three, then mine, then haul. And then everything else is the same priority. And as a Haru, you're going to. Do firefighting first, then plant cutting, then you're going to work on the others. Okay. Yeah, I, I worked that out as I was going through a bomb zero. It uh, occurred to me that if changing one didn't change the others, then it was more likely that it only affected that individual. But uh, Asaharu will work on firefighting first, then plant cutting. Actually, I'll set you up to prioritize growing our food then and then you'll work on mining repair and constructing and hauling last now we've got a couple of things here there's a stockpile there's a dumping stockpile and there's a couple of beds well we're going to unpause it and hopefully you're going to go and equip yourselves now let's see i really wish they would have added eating people in one of the patches now you guys have told me that they did i feel remarkably disheartened that you lied that would have been awesome. A true survival simulator. Because it's not real survival if you're unwilling to eat people. Right, we want to uh, build some things. So, first... Now, I think this has changed a lot since the last time I saw anyone playing this. Because there are now growing zones. If I set that up there, and then that one there... Oh, damn, really? Delete. I wanted it to be two zones, honestly. Let's try that again. So we'll go up here, like so, and another one, like so. Now this one, you can plant potato plants, and in this one, strawberry plants. I'm not sure if they just have the seeds, or rose, daylily, dandelion. Why would we plant dandelion? We'll try strawberry plants, and if... I'm not sure if they start with seeds or not. If they don't, then we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, we may need to get rid of these. Needs to be brightly lit, fully grown in 2.4 days. 
Whether they'll harvest that, I don't know. I want a stockpile for actual goods about here. Pop that there. I'm going to get rid of this one. And we want a dump as well. And I'm basically setting this up with a mind to where I'm going to have my walls, effectively. This will be our dump. So this one can also go. Right, first order of business, collect all the food. Then all the metal, then all the stone. I would like you to prioritize hauling metal, you to prioritize hauling potatoes, and you to prioritize hauling silver. Oh, silver, okay. Silver, my goodness. No, 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 Cha. I'm not going to have you eat each other. That, that wouldn't be very dappy. You're quite right. But we're going to capture people who tr come here to try and kill us, and we're going to kill them, and then eat them in front of their friends who we're going to keep prisoners. And it may, we might intimidate them into joining us and, you know, keep them in line by reminding them about how well we cooked their friends and how delicious they tasted. I think being faced with someone who's willing to eat you is quite a motivator, I imagine. Das Neko, I don't believe this game is by the same person who did Prison Architect. As far as I'm aware, that is the development team who are responsible for Uplink and Defcom and Darwinia. And this is certainly not by them. I believe that he used very similar graphics with permission. I'm not sure, though, on that one. But uh, I'm fairly certain that they are working on getting them a little bit different. Hey, Spilster. Now then. Doesn't look like they are planting there, but uh, I'm not too surprised, honestly. Now, we've got three beds, and I would very much like to bring those indoors, but uh, first, we're going to need some power. And I imagine... I mean, ideally, I'd like to put the power somewhere over here, and then connect it through walls. Hmm... That will require a much lo larger wall along there. I'm not sure that anything can grow here, so I'm going to go ahead and place a single solar uh, power, uh, solar generator there. And metal walls. Metal walls, as you might imagine, carry power. So, if I use that and just run it right up alongside the generator then it should allow us to transfer power through. But for now, let's uh, delete some of these walls here, and we'll make a very temporary little house around here for our colonists. There we go. Chop, chop. We need to get you guys indoors. Do the solar panels catch fire? I know that many of the electronics catch fire if uh, they're outdoors, but I wasn't aware that the solar panels did. Honestly, solar panels catching fire, I consider that a glaring design flaw, considering they're meant to be outside, you know. Yeah, it kind of seems silly to me. All right, let's uh, define a home area. All of this is going to be our home. Oh, damn it. I quite like that uh, when everyone is asleep, it automatically moves on to the highest speed. Hello, Plasmatic. Uh, well, yeah. Though, you still kind of... Well, it's the same sort of motion, Ken, Ken. You, you're still kind of... Swinging your pick axe over your head. It, uh, fine. Yes, I was wrong. I meant mine mine. Dig dig, perhaps. Not chop chop. Uh, there shouldn't be any lag coming from my end. I'm not dropping any flames at the moment, so... 
Now, once this is done, we're going to start building out some walls. And it'll be a very temporary little area, just somewhere so they've got uh, a place they can get indoors and have some food. It's clouding over a little bit, though. Right, okay, let's uh, pause time down while I'm designating all of this. Now, I would like... How much is that? That's about four. You know what? If we dig one more back, I can fit another solar panel right next there. Oh, really? You lazy sods! You only just finished sleeping! I don't know. Ken Ken, I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> no problem, Kurosama. Ku oh, Kuroro-sama, I mean. Yes, I am playing this. Hence the stream. Oh, have they actually planted? They have planted! Strawberry plants, fantastic! Ah, a varied diet is very important, I feel. Right, okay, let's uh, get this wall designed then. Let's draw that all the way... Well, no, we won't take it all over there. But we will... Hmm. No, we'll wait for now. Let's, uh... We're gonna want some bedrooms in here. But that will come later, I think. This area by here we're gonna make into a... Let's uh, rotate that around. We're gonna make this into our dining area. If I place it there, I can fit plenty of food hoppers near it. Though it would be better if it's a little bit better place, like there. Yeah, I like that. We'll uh, dig this into the wall a little bit. Was that three or two? No, it was three. Good. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. It's not a problem. Well, it means I have to move my sleep schedule around a little bit, but that in and of itself is not a problem. Now, once I've actually built enough walls, this should become a room. Let's go ahead and do that, and then put a powered door over there. Now, this is solar power, so it's only going to be producing power in the day. Right. What's going on here? I, I know it's cruel, but I can't always be kind to people. They came and tried to attack us, after all. They must learn that crime doesn't pay. Or at least not well. Right, and then we're going to have the nutrient paste dispenser in there. But I'm going to need to run power to it first, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping I could get away with... Uh, having it close, but apparently not. And as you can see, that tiling effect was where it was creating an actual roof. But we're gonna place that there, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and dig out this wall to connect it up. In fact, if I'm having to do that, I may as well do the whole room. All right, let's get the whole room set up properly. And I'm actually going to build some batteries over there. I won't dig that wall out just yet, but I'm going to put a battery room over there, I think. Do we actually get tea by planting plants? Like dandelion tea and things? Because if we do, I'm changing all of these fields right now. Sod food. They can live off tea. I do. Need defences. You've been here some time, and have probably been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. You should pro prepare defences. Mm. Okay. Maybe this is a good idea. Right. Well. Buildings. Can I build some? Yes, yeah, so I can build a gun turret, but... I suppose I could place at least one. Yeah, we'll place one gun turret there. And do I have any sandbags that I can place down? Yes, I do. Well, place some sandbags around it. There we go. There were some mods that I quite like the look at. Um, the look of, I should say. Where the you could build fortifications like you do in Dwarf Fortress. Which were uh, basically holes in the wall. 
I quite like the look of those. Also, I need to expand this home zone a little bit. Let's uh, expand that out to also include these areas. There we go.